Hello everyone, so this is a quick uh, uh, DUI video on how to successfully lower the GPU uh, memory temperature. So basically this MSI 3090 Gaming X runs at about uh, 106 I think degrees Celsius right now. I already did the one, so this is how it look like. So I basically have this one that it is mounted on the PC right now that runs slightly higher than the my second one that will be mounted like right in there on front. And uh, to the one that I already did the mod, uh, the memory stays like around uh, 90 degrees Celsius, 90, 90, 98 actually, 99, something like that. And this one without the modification, without the extra uh, cooling, stays like around 106. So pretty much the difference I've seen was like around 10 degrees Celsius, which is very good. And uh, so basically running under 100 degrees Celsius, being overclocked with like uh, 1250 uh, plus. So these are, these are very, very great, very good results. These are the extra uh, heat exchanger, I guess, that I'm, uh, that I'm using. I got them from uh, Amazon. Uh, I think it's like a, like seven, 17, 18 plus tax Canadian, each box. You basically pretty much need one per, per GPU. I got like three boxes because I also put like a, a few smaller ones, but I guess one bag should be enough. And then I got this uh, thermal uh, uh, self adhesive uh, tape, which is uh, it is pretty thin. I'm, I'm it is probably like I don't know like very thin, but it this is all you need. You don't need more than that. Like the, the uh, this is the best actually to use. And I think that was like around uh, just under like around thirty dollars. And you can do like so much more with it. Okay, so I already got some of the tape on it. The rest is gonna be just, it's gonna come uh, for the smaller pieces. I'm also gonna put one in here and uh, like half in there, and then a couple more like smaller ones in there. And this I'm just gonna uh, do the tape right on the, on the part. And now, also important to notice that this the back plate on the at least on the MSI card it is metal. Uh, also, the uh, I think the Gigabyte at least, and I'm not sure about the ASUS. They also have like metal back plates. Some of them they're not metal. I'll probably still try with a, even if it is not metal. But this plate, the metal one, has also. A, some uh, better, I guess, uh, uh, padding on, on the in between the, the board and the, uh, better heat dissipation. So, uh, if it's not a metal backplate, I'm not sure how, how would it work. For sure, it's not gonna work. Like, it, it may do a slightly different, but it's not gonna be the same. Okay, so this is getting ready. To be glued. Here you go, one just appeared. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I don't have my GoPro right now, and I'm using my just a smartphone to do the video, so I do apologize for the video quality, not the best. But I'm just hoping this will be useful for someone. Okay, getting ready for the second row. And also, make sure when you do the air, the tape, there are no air pockets. There was a little one in there that I just uh, pinched, so you can get the best thermal uh, heat dissipation. Okay, halfway done.
Okay, almost done. So this is pretty much the final product. I'll probably end up adding another small piece in there and uh, I may even go like that. Or maybe not, I'll see. Okay, so the GPU is now up and running. gonna leave it for like a couple minutes and then uh, alters the temperature okay so it has now been like um, almost 10 minutes running and these are the numbers so one runs at 47 one runs at 50 C the GPU temp and that because like the outside one it runs at 47 the other one runs 3 degree Celsius uh, hot. Okay. So basically let's see. Okay, so the GPU one stays at memory junction one hundred one oh two. And the GPU 2 stays at 96. 96, 98. 98. 96, 98. Okay. So the GPU 2 stays at uh, 96, 98. And the GPU one stays at one hundred one oh two. The settings, the overclocking, so power eighty percent, core clock minus two hundred, memory clock plus twelve fifty. On both, uh, this is the second and the first, same settings. Memory clock 1250. So, this is the MSI Gaming X Trio uh, 3090. Okay, so now it's getting a bit warmer than that 102, 104. And the other one stays at 96, 98. So these are these are great results for uh, before this. It was uh, around 106, 108. Okay, so 106, 108, and now it is 102. I think it was 104 maximum. And uh, I should have a, a fan that will blow straight into this one. This will will help as well. Right now. There is a fan on top in here, well not quite on top, but like lower and there is not much uh, really air that blows into the back of the car right now. The bottom one, yeah, there is more, more air flow in there on the bottom, but the top one is just like, uh, since it's mostly outside, I didn't really put any like, fans on it. I may put one in here on top, but yeah so the the lower one which is actually sits like uh, at a higher temperature at 51 degree the memory junction it is sitting at 98 and that because again there is a better airflow in there and this one on top with pretty much like you know just like a natural airflow i'll say stays at 104 102 104 so if you have a fan pointing on it will do even even better even if it is inside the case 
so definitely worth it you can I can probably now like try and overclock even a higher but probably it's not gonna see I mean I, I don't want to get the same temperature like before even if it runs slightly faster this is like uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it goes right now it so right now 119 almost 121 and the other one almost 119 And this is on the on the T-Rex it does uh, around 122 each let's check the temps again let's see so it did not it did not went higher than that so 104 104 in the bottom 98 same settings is also if you check the temperature inside my apartment it's crazy it's like like 30 31 degrees so <laughs> this is definitely not the best environment to running this but so as you can see at 30 31 degrees inside in room temperature they are running very well uh, the other day i lowered the temperature to like around 27 they were like and it was like a pretty huge uh, uh, difference uh, it was running like uh, at around 44 degrees Celsius. The, uh, so basically, if I raise the temperature three or four Celsius in the room, you're gonna see that on the GPU as well. Makes sense, right? And you're gonna also there's also a slight increase on the on the GPU speed. So yeah, these are the parts that I use from Amazon. I'm gonna put. Uh, the link into the description and then this is the thermal uh, uh, tape okay this was this is like around i think like uh, around 18 19 dollars canadian dollars a box i pretty much use one and just a couple more to for each so you need like, if you if you buy three you have like leftover like a lot you can do pretty much one per per, per gpu i just want to leave I don't want to leave any spots like if I can take advantage of any like uh, uh, square centimeter I will <laughs> and so yeah pretty much the whole investment let's say it was like if you get two boxes one is like uh, $18 each this was like almost $30 so probably like uh, it's 70, 70 Canadian to do two, two GPUs I think it is a very good deal 35 uh, Canadian per per GPU and you get much better temperature and it's not just that you get much better temperature though you you increase the life uh, your gpu life and that's the most important so you're not frying that that memory okay so it still stays at 104 the top and the bottom at say 98 so if i'm just gonna point a fan probably just point at uh, towards that direction this top one will probably go the same under one under 100 and I'll do I'll actually do that okay so that's pretty much it okay peace